Good afternoon. My name is Tavia Danch, and I am the Community Outreach Manager at Colorado State University Global. I am pleased to welcome you to CSU Global's College and Career Success Webinar Series. We have a great program for you here today, and I'm excited to begin this afternoon's discussion. But first, I wanted to share a little about us. CSU Global was created by the Colorado State University System back in 2007 as the first independent 100% online state university in the US. We have over a decade of leadership in providing quality online education for working adults. Before we get started, I wanted to remind you all of a few things. At the bottom of your screen, you will see a Q&A button. At any time during the presentation, please go ahead and submit questions you might have there and we'll answer as many of those as possible during the Q&A section at the end. You'll also notice a chat button there as well. Please feel free to introduce yourself there. Tell us what you hope to learn today and where you are joining from today. Just remember to select all panelists and attendees in the drop down menu. Finally, after the webinar, we'll send you each a copy of the recording and a short survey for you to fill out so we can continue to improve and provide you with valuable information. With that, I would like to introduce you to Brian Banks, Senior Marketing Specialist for Technology and Analytics, and Dr. Charles Lively, Program Chair for Information Technology and Computer Science at CSU Global. During this webinar, Brian and Charles will be sharing information on CSU Global's IT and Computer Science programs, the new undergraduate specialization in AI and robotics, industry and employment trends, and how CSU Global's programs can help prepare you for the future of work. With that, I'll turn the time over to Brian and Charles. Thanks, Tavia, uh, for that introduction again. Uh, thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, I did wanna go over and kind of offer a, a brief technical degree overview as, as some of you may not be as familiar with the different programs that we offer as others. Um, and as you will see here, we have uh, several different categories. Uh, we do have two bachelor's degrees, the first one being the, the Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. And then uh, we just recently added the Bachelor of Science of Computer Science uh, back in the beginning of this fall. Uh, we also offer a Master's in Science of IT Management. And then uh, we also offer certificates and specializations. Certificates are uh, basically standalone, but also can serve as a specialization within one of our bachelor's or master's. Specializations are just that. They are just to be paired with a bachelor's or master's degree. Um, those include computer programming, cybersecurity, IT management, IT operations, networking, and web application development. And then the specializations, which again are just part of a uh, larger degree program, is the AI and robotics. Um, we also offer the virtualization and cloud computing as well as all certificates can be specializations. So the ones that you see under certificates can also be uh, a specialization within a degree as well. So the other question is, is why are we as CSU Global offering a specialization in AI and robotics? Most of you are probably familiar with artificial intelligence. Basic definition is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, and decision making. Robotics is just the technology that deals with the design, construction, operation, and application of robotics. And so the reason that we're offering these is average salary is $91,000 um, as well as future job security. Again, this is a technology that is being adopted very quickly in the marketplace um, with lots of opportunity and growth. Uh, the second one is job demand. I mean, the demand for AI-related skills is set to grow from uh, approximately 1.4 billion in 2017 to 8.8 .8 billion by 2022. And if you uh, look at that, it's a, a compound annual growth rate of 44.1%. So it's growing almost at 44% each year in the next several years. That goes back to the market growth, which uh, AI spending is estimated to reach $57.6 billion in investments by 2021. And the applications back into our lives is changing very rapidly. 
So some of the top jobs in AI and robotics, I think is, is a, important for you to understand. Realize that a lot of these are for individuals that do have uh, uh, additional schooling as well as experience, but these are common job titles that you will see in AI and robotics. Um, and that is a, a machine learning engineer. Um, and that's someone who builds and manages the platforms for machine learning projects. So again, machine learning being um, that artificial intelligence um, where the, the computers are learning um, uh, different uh, patterns of recognition to help make decisions. A data scientist, and, and that's a person who collects, analyzes, and interprets large complex data sets. They also are the ones who actually create the algorithms to extrapolate the data out of these huge data sets. Uh, the next one is a business intelligence developer and they, they again analyze complex data sets and it's really kind of more towards identifying business and market trends. Uh, that's the information that is directly used by different companies to make informed di uh, business decisions. Uh, robotics engineer, uh, someone who builds and maintains robots that carry out tasks in an organization, pretty straightforward. And then there's also an AI research scientist, and that is uh, someone who's at the very top level of AI uh, research who, who does have um, incredible experience in several of the AI disciplines. Again, these are all just, uh, I think, targets. But understand that uh, a specialization is not going to get you uh, quite to the AI research scientist. It's going to take years and additional schooling. However, these are very common career pathways for, for individuals in both AI and robotics. I alluded to this earlier, but we are seeing uh, both AI and robotics um, work its way into just about every industry there is. However, currently there are four industries that are really being affected by this, and, and I'm sure you're all uh, familiar with the, the self-driving cars, the cars of the future, uh, but transport, and, and that's not just in cars who drive themselves, but automated fleets and transport services um, is an area where both kind of uh, robotics from the actual control of the vehicle, as well as the AI, um, the brains behind it, um, where both of those kind of merge together. Healthcare, again, automation of tasks for robotics. Um, and then uh, I'm sure several of you out in the audience might be wearing some sort of wearable, like an Apple Watch or uh, a Fitbit or what have you. Again, those are, um, those are part of uh, AI um, and improved diagnostic procedures as well as another outcome. Uh, marketing, we're seeing a, a lot of AI in there, which is really tailoring how um, we as consumers are marketed to, um, how companies segment out and actually ensure that, that marketing reaches the right audience. And lastly, finance. Um, again, financial advisory services and trading. Again, AI is is looking at the different trends within the markets and helping uh, companies make better decisions on how to invest their money. So um, now that I've told you a little bit about why we're doing this specialization and, and why it's so relevant uh, in today's marketplace, I'm going to turn it over to Charles um, to talk a little bit more about the, uh, the program specifics. So thank you again, Brian, for that introduction and overview on the motivation for us to bring this specialization into fruition. Uh, this specialization provides a unique opportunity to allow for IT students and strong students with the IT background to apply their knowledge to a field that is currently growing in AI and robotics. And the specialization is built to introduce theoretical concepts and foundational concepts in AI and computer vision and robotics and apply that theory into application. Throughout the coursework, you will also be able to relate the application of the skills in th that you learn into appropriate real life scenarios, whether it's related to e-commerce, to uh, robot manipulation, manipulation and automation, as well as uh, information retrieval on the web. So our specialization consists of a five course sequence that is 
designed to provide you with the necessary theoretical background in a number of areas related to AI and robotics. Within the specialization, you'll, you'll start off with our foundational courses in artificial intelligence and computer vision. Uh, artificial AI is, is kind of the parent of our, 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 of our of this specialization in that it will present you with foundational sub-knowledge to approach the additional courses within the specialization. So within the artificial intelligence course, you'll learn all of the foundations related to building appropriate mechanisms to control AI neural networks, um, foundations related to machine learning as well. This will provide you with the necessary bridge to tackle the principles of, principles of machine learning, or you'll learn about advanced stochastic processes and estimation theory as well. Our additional courses in the specialization include our principles of robotic theory as well as our computer vision courses. These two courses are really introduction to appropriate sub areas related to the specialization. In computer vision, you will learn about 2D and 3D image construction, deconstructing scene environments, as well as image and pattern prediction and relation. This provides you with a strong foundation of knowledge of what you'll learn in principles of robotic and pr principles of robotic theory and being able to apply those concepts. Well, you'll also learn about the estimation theory used for maneuvering and manipulating a robot. And you'll also learning, learn about the necessary programming concepts required to simulate uh, robot, simulate robot movements. In this course, it's very hands-on in that you'll actually be using a robot simulator to emulate all movements that would that you would apply to an actual robot. So it's not just theory, it's applying that theory and also seeing it in action. And the final course in the specialization is a, a very interesting course and it's called the Fundamentals of Information Retrieval and Web Searching. And information retrieval is becoming a, a growing area, especially with uh, the way that search engines are optimizing and improving. And it's also allows for you to learn the theory of information retrieval so that it can be applied to image recognition, to uh, robotic vision for understanding and recognizing patterns, as well as for understanding how to optimally extract patterns from documents as well. The benefit in the way that we have constructed the courses is that everything is very interactive in the way that we have things set up. We have integrated development environments within the course, so it's not just you learning from a textbook. You're, you're able to get interactive feedback as you work your way through the course. And we've made use of a number of tools, such as in our robotic course, we use a simulation tool to actually simulate the robot. And so when you enter your code script to simulate the, the robot moving out of the path of an object, you'll actually be able to see if you're your code is successful in allowing for the robot to maneuver from the path of an object. And this has real applications into uh, the current uh, state of technology, such as um, automated or self-driving vehicles and vehicles that are able to adapt if an object comes into the path of your, when you're driving. So overall in this, in this specialization, it's not only introducing to you, you to several theoretical concepts, but allowing for you to apply those concepts and hopefully continue to move forth in gaining that knowledge. So thank you so much, Brian and Charles, for your wonderful insights. I would now like to open the floor up for our question and answer portion of the webinar. So first question for Charles. If a person wishes to pursue the path of an AI research scientist, Will CSU Global offer any graduate degrees to help that path, or will we need to pursue a graduate degree in that elsewhere? That's an excellent question, and we currently are pursuing advanced degrees in this area. Um, so that, in the future, that will be an option. 
we're pursuing advanced degrees as well as uh, specializations and certificates in, in the area as well. Wonderful. Another question for you, Charles, how long will it take me to complete the specialization in AI and robotics? So a typical, um, typically students will take two courses per term. If a student is able to take uh, at least two courses for the specialization, it could be completed in three to four terms. If it's in combination with other coursework, then it would be longer but it's a five course specialization. So depending on how you're able to schedule those courses, it can be completed in three to four terms. Great. And again, the terms here at CSU Global are? They're eight long? weeks, eight weeks in duration. Wonderful. Great, um, next question. Is this program eligible for financial aid? A specialization is not eligible for uh, financial aid. It must be, t if, it, it, if it is taken with your, if you're currently en enrolled as a degree seeking student, then yes, you can add it to your degree plan and it can be used in that way, but only taking the specialization alone, it would not be eligible. But if you add it to your current degree plan, it would be. And I can add that we are, are seeking approval um, to basically take this specialization and turn it into uh, a certificate which would be eligible for financial aid. So we are in the process of, of trying to make that happen as well. Great, next question. And this is more of an industry question. How are AI and robotics similar? How are they dissimilar? Oh, very good question. And so really, you want to think of AI and robotics as different areas and AI provides the, the foundation to exploring the topics more advanced along the lineage, such as machine learning and computer vision. But AI also provides a foundation to introduce you to topics related to robotic theory. So AI is more about um, understanding patterns and, uh, and um, actively being able to take information and process it in an intelligent manner. In robotics, what you're doing is you're taking the theory of AI and applying it in uh, a way to help, uh, to help reduce labor and create an intelligent being. So AI introduces the concepts that you use and apply in robotics. Great answer, thank you. Next question, another industry question. Uh, what are the most powerful artificial intelligence companies currently? Oh, wow. Um, I would definitely, <laughs> we definitely wanna say that um, Amazon and Google are also are at the forefront um, in terms of uh, uh, intelligence and Internet of Things and all of these new gadgets and gizmos. We've also seen that companies like Apple and Tesla, who are technology companies in their own right, are incorporating these. Apple has, you know, over the past three to four years been in pursuing uh, intelligent devices and self-driving cars. And of course, we all know Tesla in, in the automotive industry has been seen at the forefront of ushering in electrification and self-driving vehicles as well. So interesting. Um, next question. Would it be beneficial for me to get a specialization in AI and robotics, even if my degree program isn't technology related? I think it would definitely be a, a benefit in that we're seeing that uh, AI and robotics are being pushed, ushered into the forefront of all industries, um, whether it's healthcare, whether it's um, uh, autom automobiles, e-commerce, um, and, and consulting as well. So it, it's, really uh, industry agnostic skill set that can be applied to various areas. And just a follow up to that, would I um, need to have background knowledge in tech to be successful in this program? To be, um, to, to be eligible to participate, you do have to have at least uh, 
what we call three programming courses. Um, and for us, it would be uh, programming one, programming two, and uh, data structures and algorithms. So really with this specialization, it's also a good match for students to also take the computer programming specialization. Uh, that way you become uh, technically uh, proficient in programming and then you can continue on into AI and robotics as well. Great. And can I complete the specialization without being enrolled in a degree program? For specializations, you do need to be enrolled in a degree program. As uh, Brian uh, um, mentioned earlier, we are currently working on getting a certificate approved. With the certificate, it would be this specialization and one additional course, and that would not require a degree program, and it would be eligible for financial aid. Wonderful. Thank you so much. So with that, a big thank you to Brian and Charles for your time and the information you shared with us today. This is really interesting, and it was great to be a part of this. Uh, current students should reach out to the Student Success Counselor to discuss adding this specialization to their degree plan. New students should contact an enrollment counselor to learn more. This concludes our career success webinar this afternoon. And on behalf of everyone here at Colorado State University Global, thank you and have a great rest of the day.